This video covers the step-by-step -step instructions on how to create a weighted grade center. And we're going to do that by using the weighted total column. Every Blackboard class that's created automatically has a total category that you can use as a total of all your grades, just a flat total, and you can display it whether it's a letter grade like we have here, or a percentage, or a score. And it also has this weighted total column. Now if you're not going to have a weighted grade book, you can hide this. But since we're going to add or create a weighted grade book, we're going to use this column that's already been here. We're going to use the click on the drop down arrow, and we're going to edit this weighted total by edit column information. Now you can change the name of the column if you want. You could say total grades whatever you want to change it to. I'm going to leave it at weighted total, just the default settings, the weighted sum of all grades for a user based on an item, or in our case, we're going to do category weighting. So we're going to say on category weighting. We're going to display it as a percentage, but again, you can use a letter grade, a score. I'm really going to leave it at percentage. Now here's the most important section when you're adding created a weighted grade book. We're going to take these categories here, we're going to place them over here, and then we're going to change the percent that we're going to weight them. So I'm going to select, and you can click, you can use your control key to select multiple. I'm going to use attendance, homework, discussion, and test as my categories. After they're all highlighted using my control button, I'm going to click the arrow to move all of these over to here. Now on this side, this is where I'm going to tell Blackboard how much I'm going to weight each of these categories. For our example here, I'm going to give homework is 30%, discussion forums will be 15, tests will be 50%, and notice at the bottom this is totaling these up, we're at 95%, so I have to equal 100 so I'm just going to add attendance as 5% of the grade. Now you're going to want to weight your columns proportionally. And the reason you want to have proportional is because, for example, in my test category, if I have three tests and then a final, but my final is actually worth more than my other three tests, I want that to show proportionally. I don't want all my tests to be equally weighted within this category. So I'm going to select proportionally. You also want to use calculate running total. We're going to select yes. That's the option we've been suggesting throughout the training. I am going to include this in the grade center and show it to the students. And I'll leave the averages. I'll not show that. And then once we have all this set, we'll click Submit. We have a bar up here that tells me that my I had success adding my weighted total. And actually we just edited that. And you can see now that the weighted total is now weighting the assignments that I've entered in here and giving it its weighted total. And that's how you set up a weighted grade center.